Welcome everybody, this is Bruce with Abowski Studio. Today I'm going to be painting that over there. I'm going to be working on a toned 8x10 panel. And about the only difference, I'm using a extended palette again. I'll name them off from left to right. We have Burnt Umber, Ivory Black, Titanium White, Ultramarine Blue, Cerulean Blue, Lemon Yellow, Cad Yellow, Cad Red, Medium, Melissa and Crimson. And I will be using a little bit of oil today for my medium. And a beautiful day to paint. And what I'm going to try in this painting, so usually I block in my darks first, is I'm going for the rim lighting on the lights, get some relationships of sky and a distant uh, hill, nail that, then I can key the greens to that and the brightness of my lighting on the edges of the tree. So that's uh, my goal. Let's get started. All right, a few minutes into it here. There's the scene straight ahead. And here's my start so far. I'm trying to key the values. I'm liking the connection to the sky and the distant trees. And now I'll have something to key the dark of the uh, tree line right here. And one thing you want to be aware of, I, I'm wearing a kind of a Kelly Green shirt. And when I was blocking this in initially, the paint looked funny. I was like, oh, it's the sun is straight at me, so it was reflecting some of that green into the surface. So I put on a, a little more absorbent sort of shirt and uh, for light, so you don't get any reflection, or not as much, and that helps quite a bit. Now I'm going to work on some tones for the dark and get those going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really try to keep them colorful, not get them too... Uh, neutralized see what happens all right here's the progress so far and I'm really liking how it's popping a little bit compared to the scene there now I'm gonna work on getting the base uh, middle tone of the foreground field get that relationship going on there and this whole time I've been painting with this small round compared to my finger now I did that because I wanted the strokes of the paint to be Relate in relation to the size of the objects a little bit a big flat brush would have been too chunky so but with the foreground I'll switch to a couple Quarter inch flats that sort of thing to give some variety to the stroke. So let's continue on get a little close-up Okay Well, this is what we got going on and uh, a little bit of a challenge with the sun right at me like this out, out in the open um, having to grab the palette here, having to grab the palette and tilt it up to get the light off it because the light is not on the painting so I'm trying to mix, it's been a little challenging. I did add sap green over in the corner to try to get a little intensity to the edging on the edge of the field there and uh, I do like how the distance is uh, showing. Got a lot of work to do in the interior here. Paint's uh, quite wet. Being on panel, if this was on canvas, I think it would go more, uh, go better in terms of laying more layers on top. Uh, I think the best thing to do on a panel would be, if you didn't think a color was going right, is probably just to wipe it off or try to reduce some of the paint with a paper towel, a Q-tip, something like that, and then lay the new color back on, maybe a little drier because you're already going to have a little oil base on there from the previous color so things to think about but it's still fun to be out today it's beautiful out and of course uh, again I'll take a look at it when I get it home away from the uh, away from the subject and I'm just gonna see if I can't uh, detail a little bit of the field here and then tie it up all right, I'm going to let this tack up and do some more layers when I get home. I got the bones of the piece and uh, pretty happy with it. Um, just another little outdoor sketching thing. And uh, I think next time around, try to use the paint a little drier. Uh, see how that goes. But I did like uh, starting with the light values first and then the rim lighting. And I want to thank you for watching the watching this and I uh, hope you enjoy them or if you have any comments and uh, we'll do another short video when I get back to my porch kind of getting in the habit of looking at it away from the subject and doing a little clip 
study it more and talk a little more. And uh, until then, hi everybody. So I'm back at home, looking at the painting. Some some of the distractions you see are, of course, the shadows from my tree here. Sorry about that, but it's going to have to do. And uh, overall, yeah, it's you know your standard landscape. I like it a lot. I I really like the distance kind of view. And of course, when this dries, when the foreground dries, I'll be playing around with a little palette knife work, doing some of the grasses that were growing and that sort of thing. Paint was a little too wet. Got to uh, work on that out in the field in terms of maybe having some drier paint. And you know, some shapes I'll adjust over here. It looks a little unusual. But uh, once I put another coat of some more chromatic yellow around the edges of this tree to set it off for rim lighting, which I'll do in other areas, different intensities and different uh, uh, color changes. Some might be more blue-green, more warm green, that sort of thing. But uh, overall, kind of liking it. I'm going to try to get some details so you can... And like I was showing in the video, I used a uh, small round to paint all this in here in proportion to the subject I was painting. Thought I'd be out of place to use a bigger brush, but here I did use a little bigger brush, mostly in foreground as I worked back. I tried to shorten my vertical strokes to suggest distance. Of course, there's not a lot of detail yet. You probably can't see enough, but I want to thank you for tuning in. It was a beautiful, I mean, there's my thermometer right there. It's 70 degrees in Maine and June. Can't beat it. Perfectly sunny today. So I want to thank you for watching the video. If you're a subscriber, thanks for watching. If you're not, please subscribe to see more and put your comments in the box below. Tell me what you think. I'd appreciate it. Bye.